This looks like the entrance to a secret passage. Quickly, come on! Tokimune is getting away! Hey, I really don't want to go in there. We don't have time for this! Come on, my lady. We have to hurry. Okay, okay. But I'm holding my nose. Oh. 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 Hey! Uh. Uh. Abaro! What, my lord? Just wait for me! I can't uh, run anymore. Very well, my lord. Let us rest. Uh. Oh, rest. How did it come to this? My lord, please tell me. If you intend to revive the Lord of Earth, does that mean you have the Magikor? What? Why do you ask? I simply wish to assure its safety. Worry not, worry not. The Magikor is perfectly safe. How can you be so certain, my lord? If I say it's safe, then it's safe! But what if it should fall into their hands, my lord? We should prepare for such a possibility. Where is the Magikor now? Enough, Aboro! The Magikor is completely safe! There is no such possibility! How do you know? The Magikor of Kyoto City was sealed inside the body of the Shogun at a young age! It is inside me right now, so of course it's safe! I see. Mm hmm? Well, now that I know that, I no longer need you, swine. What? Die. Why? What have you done to me? I have cut you down. Do you not get it, you imbecile? What? What is all this red? I'm so hot. Or is this pain? I don't want to die yet. I don't want to die. Huh? With the Magikor of a Devil Golem, my clan will be safe. You are no longer of any use. Uh, I don't want to... Squeal like the pig you are as you die. Too late. Tokimune is dead? What happened? Oh, Sayaka. We were too late. But who did this? I'm betting that Oboro guy. Correct. You again? I'm here to help you. Tokimune was killed by Oboro, and the Magikor inside him was taken. The Magikor inside him? Right. The custom in Kyoto City appears to be to seal the Magikor inside the body of the Shogun. So Oboro killed Tokamune to get his hands on the Magikor. Again, correct. Well, this is another turn for the worse. I have more bad news for you, I'm afraid. She will soon appear at the Lord of Earth's temple. She? Ah! Atsuma, your arm! You mean... Yes, the Queen of Ice. <laughs> so, what do we do next? I'm sure any number of people would want a Devil Golem Magikor. Oh, yes. Any number of people. For instance, me. If you give me what I want, then it's yours. I don't care even if you are a devil golem. Oh, really? 
Then maybe I'll just take it. And your reward. Let's see. How about... The honor of being killed by a devil golem. What? humans. Why are they all so superficial? <laughs> well then, let's go, Toya. It's time for the Lord of the Earth to wake up. The resonance seems to have passed. Hey, she's really here? Yes, unfortunately. She wants to revive the Lord of Earth. The Lord of Earth? Why? The truth is more complicated than you can know. You must hurry to the Lord of Earth's temple.
Before. What's wrong, Atsuma? There's more than one of them. <laughs> that means both the Lord of the Earth and the Queen of Ice. Two of them. Bring it up, Atsuma. Okay. little limb of yours is a smidgen too late. Queen of Ice! Toya has just fitted the Lord of Earth with his magic ore. Toya! Well then, I'm finished here. Let's go, Toya. Yes, my queen. Hold on! Oh, my. Do you have time to be worrying about me? What does that mean? Atsuma, the Lord of Earth. Totally 
broken yet. The Lord of Earth isn't fully revived. We can beat him now.
Did we... Do we get him? Wait. What now? This is bad. What is it, Atsuma? What are you so scared of? Ugh. Now is the time. Use the Gaia if you have truly mastered it. Okay, here we go. The barrier! It's down! Atsuma, amazing! That's not enough! Now, Atsuma! The Gaia! This is where the kid shows his stuff! You did it! Not a bad show, I guess. I try! <sighs> <laughs> Me too. Worn out. I'd like to take it easy for a while. Then please, rest here in my village. Sayaka. Sayaka, are you okay? Yes. I think so. Sayaka, I'm sorry. About Lord Tokimune? Yes. I was unable to save his life. Do not worry about it. It was not your fault. Indeed, it was my own foolishness that caused all of this. True loyalty is to question when your lord makes irrational choices. I should have... seen this sooner. There is still time, Sayaka. Although Lord Tokimune is gone, the line of the Shogun is not broken, and Kyoto City still stands. Lord Tokimune was certainly an active man. He has many potential heirs who can take his place. Then I hope you can find a new leader among them. My God. Now, talking of things for which there is still time, concerning you and me. That's enough, Rygar. Whoa. Come on. Things were just getting spicy. You may stay here, I suppose. I've made up beds for you all. Please, rest well. <laughs> hey, Rygar! You got a promotion! Out of the storeroom! Great! <laughs> Indeed. So, they defeated the Lord of Earth. That's one problem solved. The Devil Golem was revived, but it caused very little damage, so that's good. But, I'm not sure about this. My emotions got away from me and I taught the kid the art of Gaia. It may be too much for him to handle. Eh? This is... the Lord of Earth's Magikor. It's been totally absorbed. Now, it's just a stone. So, where is the ether that was absorbed? Huh? Inside Atsuma? He's got the Emperor of Fire, and now the Lord of Earth inside him? So next, the Queen of Ice? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Chains of Fate? You've got a few new lines, haven't you? There you go again! Shut up! You're not having things your way anymore! Oh, 
dream? I'm okay. I have Gaia. This arm. I can control it. Who's that? It's me. You were shouting. Are you okay? Utsuma? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I I'm fine. I told you last night that we're going to plan our next move today. Huh? Yeah? You did? Yes. Sayaka and her father are going to help us too, okay? So come on, we need you. You're just a school kid, but you survived Yokohama. You sure you need me? Yes. We need input from anyone who's fought the Devil Golems. You need my arm, right? Huh? You don't need me. Just my arm. You want a kick? Sorry. At first, I suppose. I thought I'd use you like that. But not anymore. I want to help you. I want to support you. Okay? Okay. That's settled then. Everyone is waiting. Come to the tea room. So, let's get started. Very well. First, let's discuss how to fight the Queen of Ice. But that is far too dangerous, Father. What? You girl dare to question me? If we draw her out like that, we could face another Yokohama. But taking the fight into her territory is just as dangerous. Using as much force as possible is the only way to defeat such a powerful foe. But we can't afford to involve innocence in such a struggle. We don't even know where she is hiding. My way is far more practical. But father... Listen, girl. Family shouldn't argue like this. Atsuma, please, stay out of this. This is Rygar's fault. You did what you were told before, girl. Now, look at you. This has nothing to do with Rygar. I have decided to be more true to myself, that's all. Anyway, right. So aside from where to fight her, you both pretty much agree on how to fight, correct? Well, yes. The highly trained troops of Yokohama, and then the brave knights of London. Neither of those powerful forces could defeat the Queen of Ice. Taking that into consideration, defeating her straight out seems like an impossible task. The only way to stop her is to destroy her magic core. When you say destroy her magic core, you mean Toya, right? Correct, Atsuma. Although I hate to say this to one who saved my life, killing Toya is the only way to save the world. The only way to save mankind. But Toya is being controlled by her. Are you sure about that? What? This Toya. We cannot know for sure what he is thinking. And even if he is being controlled, there may be no other way but to end his life. The life of one, for the life of many. We have no choice. No, we do. I have learned the art of Gaia. If I use that, maybe I can save Toya and defeat the Queen of Ice. The fate of the world hangs on that maybe. You succeeded against the Emperor of Fire, yes. But he was not totally bonded with the Magikor when you did so. He was also weak after fighting the Queen of Ice. And you had the power of Lady Karine on your side. One might almost call it luck. I hear that you lost control of your arm against the London City forces. Isn't that true? What if that were to happen again? The fate of the world rests on all of this. Mistakes cannot be made. Yes, that happened. But Atsuma has changed since then. I am not attacking him. Do not get me wrong. But too much rests on this. This boy, Toya, is his life worth risking the lives of everyone here? I can't... make a decision like that. Lady Karine, you have already lost your father to the Queen of Ice. Toya is with her, the one who did this terrible thing. Perhaps this colors your feelings toward him. I... 
Lady Kareen, I know you were worried about Atsuma, but allow me to say this, rude though it may sound. As the leader of London City, you must not let personal feelings cloud your judgment. But I... I'm just going to get a breath of fresh air. risking everyone's life for? I don't know. But he is worth risking my life. Ah, what would Toya want? I don't know. Toya, time for a little celebration. A bloody curtain has fallen over the Emperor of Fire and the Lord of Earth. The child with the right arm is performing magnificently, don't you think? It's hard to believe he really doesn't understand. He's merely his arm's puppet. <laughs> Next, it will be my turn. Then at last, the ancient command shall be unleashed. It has taken so long, and cost so much with the Golem War. But, in the end, all of that is meaningless. You understand why, don't you, Toya? You are coming with me to a new and yet familiar world. How long do you intend to maintain this silence? Surly child, anyway, I noticed something a while ago. A mouse seems to have found its way into my beautiful castle. Mousy, mousy, no need to be afraid. Come on out. You want to talk with Toya, don't you? Come out then, or you'll die. <laughs> ah, a bigger mouse than I expected. I'm taking Toya. <laughs> a mouse with a sense of humor. Why should I let you take him? I'll give you something in return, of course. This, your original magic core. Oh, you have that old thing, do you? I was wondering where it was. I thought that batty professor had hidden it away somewhere. Mice are good at sniffing things out, aren't they? I'll exchange this for Toya, okay? No. What? This darling boy is my partner now. A devil golem and a magic core cannot easily be separated once linked. Just like lovers. And even if I weren't bonded with Toya, I wouldn't touch that ugly stand-in. So no, no deal. Now then, Mousy, time to die. <laughs> Stop. Stop this, Queen. Toya, you've recovered. Queen, do not harm this one. Well, if you say so, Toya, then I won't. Toya, if you're not under her control, then what are you doing here? Why don't you try to escape? Answer me! Atsuma. Atsuma is so worried about you. <laughs> Atsuma hasn't given up yet? After all I said to him, really, he is a total pain in the... What? Ah. I don't know. Yo, yo, yo. What's with that face? Hey, what are you doing here? I came to tell you something. Tell me what? You want to use your arm and save that whatever his name is, right? Yeah, like when I saved Kareem. If I use- Naive, naive, naive. Naive is a newborn. Why? Think about it. Once a devil golem and a magicor are bonded together, leaving the magicor behind and absorbing everything else, well, that just isn't realistic. What? Why not? You'd just suck up the Magicor too, and that's that. Take a look at this. What is it? It's the remnants of the Lord of Earth's Magicor. Look inside, nothing left, hollowed out. Now, what do you think this process would do to a human, huh? Kill them? 
I should think so. Hey, hold on. That's no good. Good or no good, so what? It's the truth. But wait, I saved Kareen. I guess you were just lucky. And that explains it all, does it? Hold on, hold on, I've got more. You were lucky enough that certain requirements were met, is what I mean. Requirements? Like what? I don't know really, but what I mean is, there is some kind of trick to this saving a Magikor business. So what should I do? Huh? How should I know? Wait! After all that, you just don't know? Ah, uh, why do I have to repeat myself? Do not be bound by common sense. Just because I'm the ascetic monk doesn't mean I know everything. You'll have to work the rest out for yourself. Hey! Wait! Ah, off he goes again. I guess I need to discuss this with the others. <laughs>